celebrating victory. Tune in for insights from Carlo Ancelotti after Real Madrid's impressive 4 1 win over Villarreal FC. No, I haven't spoken to him yet. Our medical staff has said it could be an anterior cruciate ligament injury in the knee. Obviously, uh, something very bad, and we are deeply affected by this. He is another player who falls due to the same injury, and as a coach of the team, I've never experienced something like this before. Um, having three players with the same injury in just four months is incredible, but true. There's nothing we can do about it, but what we have to do is continue enduring just like we have done so far. In fact, we have done more than could be expected in these circumstances. Regarding signing another central defender, we will see in the coming days. We'll see. At the moment, yes, but only for the moment. As I've said many times before, the season is very long and it will be a season with a lot of competition, and that includes teams like Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. No, I don't think so. Bellingham has been a key player in the match. Playing very well and always giving his best. I decided to take him off the field to avoid any issues considering that Bellingham had a shoulder injury. So when I can spare him a few minutes on the pitch, I will do so. We started with a diamond-shaped formation on the field, leaving the wings a bit more exposed, and we changed it a bit. In today's game, I think the pressure we applied to the opponent was spectacular. Luca pressed the center back, and Lucas Vasquez pressed the full back. The strategy worked very well for us. It's been one of the best performances of the season. Obviously, when we press high against the opponent, it raises the pace of the game, and it benefits us to have this pace when we don't have the ball. We have to play with intensity, especially against teams that play very well, like Villarreal. Villarreal was not comfortable in the match, and that is a credit to my players. I think Carvajal will train with the team on Tuesday, but obviously we won't take any risks. As for Mendy, he preferred to stop playing. He felt a bit of muscle tightness in the abductor, and we substituted him to avoid risks. Chouini is obviously the first option we have on the list. He did a very good job in the match against us. No es lo que pensamos de él. Playing him que, as a central defender is not what we want for him, but he helps us in emergencies, and right now we are in an emergency, so he could play there. Creo que ahí él puede jugar. Si creo que meditaba o está. The recovery of both Malatea and Cortes is going very well. Although we haven't discussed when they could return, I think it could be before the end of the season. No, we don't think it's a strong statement. I do believe that we are doing very well. This has been one of the best matches in, in terms of offensive pressure. It has undoubtedly been the best. It's been a very complete match from the entire team. An extraordinary collective commitment. Extraordinario, han destacado las individualidades, el pase de Modric. Some individual performances stood out, such as Modric's pass to Bellingham. Bellingham, que sigue marcando el gol de Rodrigo. Who keeps on scoring? La individualidad de Brahim. For the first goal, then Rodrigo's goal, and the great play by Brahim, who topped it off with a fantastic goal in a match where everyone was spectacular defensively. Lunin is one of the two starting goalkeepers we have. The other goalkeeper is named Kipal. Vinicius Camavinga. Vinicius Camavinga. And Aguilar will be back with the team after the holidays. Well, what I have in mind now. And I tell you honestly, is to win the game next Thursday and then have a holiday.
thinking about who will be the goalkeeper for the match against Mallorca. Del primer partido contra Mallorca. Ahora it's not something I am considering at the moment. Tengo dos cosas muy importantes. My priorities, as I said, are the Thursday match and the holiday week. Muchas gracias. Gracias.